Millennial men can now go by a new name, Lost Boys, next on Healthy Republic. Hey everybody, I'm Katie, and on today's episode of Healthy Republic, we are going back to 1991 and the release of Steven Spielberg's Hook, an adaptation of Peter Pan. In this version of the children's story, Robin Williams took the lead role as Peter Banning, a middle-aged corporate lawyer. Banning's children disappear in the night while the family is visiting Granny Wendy in London, and Captain Hook is said to be the culprit who stole them away to Neverland. So Peter must now believe and become Peter Pan. Unbelievable, yes. But this tale of Peter Pan has become a classic for many millennials. Robin Williams, Julia Roberts, Dustin Hoffman, and Dame Maggie Smith. No one can deny the star-studded cast. Plus this. Don't ask! (laughs) Just all of that. There was a special appeal to all of us living in Neverland. Imagine a world where you can do whatever you want, and play games all day. That world is where we find a lot of young men living in America right now. According to research published in the September issue of National Bureau of Economic Research Digest, between the years 2000 through 2015, the average hours of work for men ages 21 to 30 fell by 203 hours per year. This equates to a 12% decline over the time period. Excluding those who are full-time students, nearly 15% of men in their 20s did not work a single week all of 2015. That number is almost double what it was at the turn of the century. Researchers found that these young, able-bodied men are simply staying home and filling the extra hours with leisure activities, and at much greater rates than young women or older men. I don't ever want to become a man. Yuck! (laughs) I always want to be a little boy to have fun. In other words, We have a lot of lost boys in America who are choosing to spend their time doing something else. And what is that something else? Well, it's playing video games in their parents' homes, because that is also where these men still live. This group of millennials is having a case of the original Peter Pan syndrome. They are men who wish to never grow up. Just one of the many millennial men who chooses to not get a job is 22-year-old Danny Izquierdo, who explained why after high school, So four years ago, he's choosing video games instead of seeking paid employment. When I play a game, I know if I have a few hours, I will be rewarded. With a job, it's always been up in the air with the amount of work I put in and the reward. Reward number one, Danny, is money. And I can think of several more rewards that would help you to leave your parents' home and work a job. Any job. Now, this style of living may not seem like it's harming anyone. But understand that these lost boys will continue to age, thereby becoming lost men, and eventually lost geezers. Even the lost boys of Hook grew up. If the millennial men choose to not grow up, but rather stay dependent upon the generation ahead of them, the country is facing a perilous future in its economy and general society, because the labor supply will continue to dwindle. If these men continue living in the land of make-believe, everyone is in trouble. The U.S. Census Bureau claimed the millennials as the largest generation last year, surpassing the baby boomers, the same boomers who may be able to support their offspring for now. But as they continue to age, their financial and physical abilities will decline. Who then will support the large number of couch surfers? He took my toy. She hit my bell. I want a potty. I want a cookie. I want to stay up. I want, I want, I want me, 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 me. Mine, 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 mine. Now, now, now. As kids, we all thought Captain Hook was the bad guy. He makes a lot more sense 25 years later. He knew what the millennials would grow up to be. And it is possible he was trying to warn us. It's okay that Peter became a pirate. Because in the end, he found balance with his family, his work, and his personal fulfillment of believing. We hope the same for these presently lost boys, and that they don't lose their marbles, like Toodles did. Bangarang, America. And until next time, stay healthy. Hey everybody, if you liked that video, head over to freedomproject.com and check out more videos and articles by moi.